live in the dungeon. This is the Dream Warrior Review. I'm Kurt Thomas. I'm Mick Strawn. I thought about later after we'd already... We'd Watching already, Crash we, Dive from 1943. I was thinking, yeah. how cool would it have been if we did, like, Crash Dive, 1943, then 1996, and... I mean, Tyrone Power was in the 1943 version. That was that would have been fun to watch. I might still watch it just for my own. Uh, I, absolutely. I I I didn't even know that there was a Crash Dive version of Crash. I didn't until I was looking older. it up. On, yeah, yeah, I didn't notice that, and, and uh, yeah, I was surprised too. And it's probably <laughs> a lot better. I would imagine a lot better. I mean, this had Rennie Harlan as the the villain. <laughs> <laughs> And you mean the Rennie Harlan that could barely speak in the English, right? Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I don't know. I, that's my first thought when he came out of the screen. I'm like, oh, wow. Well, I, 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 and I have to say, go ahead and give us the... the oh, oh. The crew of a nuclear submarine. Uh, it's going to be hard for me to read this without laughing. Go ahead. USS Ulysses rescues supposed victims of a boat disaster. I'm trying to read it weird on purpose. Okay. But the victims turn out to be terrorists intent on capturing nuclear weapons aboard the sub only. Wow. This one goes on This is a long one. Well, anyway, only, they, only a former SEAL, now a submarine consultant, can save the crew by sliding aboard while the sub is underwater. The term crush dive refers to the sudden dropping of a sub to escape detection, an act that a nuclear sub is never supposed to make. Of course, it comes into play in this film. So you don't have to see it now, because it's basically... You just saw it. Yeah. There you go. So... Is there a movie that Michael Dudikoff did? Because I was... Oh, I recognized him, but I couldn't think of any movie that he ever did. And right. I looked it up on IMDb, and I'm like, American Ninja. Just the Amer- American Ninja series, yeah. But I didn't even like and, that. Well, <laughs> so. but you also have to remember this, is the, the, Ameri- the American Ninja series was actually made at Corman's studio to be released foreign. Oh. So that's why they, ma- they made like nine of them. Yeah. You know, I think Dudikoff was in at least six of them. So, uh, the things that you don't realize that, I mean, Roger Corman would make a film in four days. Yeah. And and then immediately make another film in four days. And then on and on and on and on. So, uh, his... uh, that that most of those were re- released uh, overdubbed into other languages uh you just don't see mo- but michael dudikoff was a, a big thing in in foreign release yeah just not an american release hmm. well this is uh so a f- good foundation for a movie is a good screenplay this didn't have that. <laughs> so basically you you polished a turd <laughs> as a I, I had, designer it, and and can Which, I? Which, by the that, way, your your credit was only up for the, for two seconds. It and, was, and the one before but, that was up there for four seconds, and I was kind of like, "What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have to say this: that when um, w- when you said that we were going to see this film, and you handed me the CD, I was like, <laughs> "Oh, wow!" Because is it, it worse was than Blade? Super. It was super cheap. Yeah. I mean. I mean, I think that they wanted to make it for uh, like under three hundred thousand or something oh like gosh. that, yeah. and uh, <laughs> and we had to, and the pinch was you know we had to make a nuclear sub for that, right? Um, but I have to say that in the end, uh, I mean, we did so many tricks to make it look good, but. I was like, "Is there fog on the submarine? It's like, why is there?" Fog? <laughs> well, did you? But did you notice that that the the central core of it was two yeah. long, uh, uh, what would you call it? Walkways. The the bottom yeah. one was yep. six feet off the ground, and the top, and then there was like seven feet between it and the next one, and and then that also had storage Mm -hmm. uh you know uh walls and stuff on it that went into the side rooms the great thing about it was and i did that intentionally because i wanted to i think the bottom one was only three feet off the ground but i wanted enough room to light under them so that you could always get a feeling that you were looking down because i noticed that about looking at pictures of diesel and and particularly nuclear nuclear slubs that when you got into the center of it um especially the older ones you were always looking down oh yeah through the through yeah. the other layers and that's that's what i did t- 
to get that feel that you were looking through it. And there's uh, a lot of shots <laughs> through the grates from below too. Right, right, right. It, it, and and it really worked for it. I mean, I thought it was a fairly convincing set. There's only two problems I have with the set. Yeah, the PVC pipes with the arrows all over them. Oh, I thought those were great. We found those in books. <laughs> I know, but PVC. I mean, I don't know. I would have bought it more if they were like painted or something. Because it, it was. I mean, it's just like it looks like that. Like <laughs> with just the arrow on it. Yeah, I don't well, know. But I was distracted by the PVC pipes no, in the corner brother. with yeah. all these red arrows going different ways. I'm like, okay, and, and that is something that we took that we absolutely stole off of an. So they actually had PVC stuff. pipes on this sub. Well, not PVC pipes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Idiot. Oh, uh, if oh, they were, oh, if they were so, painted so they looked like metal, maybe I would have bought it. Oh, brother, they weren't even painted when <laughs> they looked like metal when they were on the sub. <laughs> they were painted white, like okay, well, like they were go. PVC. Oh yeah, so maybe put a coat of paint over the PVC so it looks like a. A, yellow, a white coat. you know what you had more time to do it than i did i did yeah <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. oh the other part was uh there was a part where there was a fire and like there somebody grabs a piece of uh something well he picks it up and i can see like the carpet over the plywood and i, I was expecting somebody well, yeah. to say oh no the set's falling apart <laughs> <laughs> well you know what i saw that too that was the, but but in my defense is that would have been that way in real life right because yeah. it was against the wall oh, it was a part of the okay. it was part of the booth that was against the right wall. yeah okay right it so was, yeah so I'm, I'm gonna give myself I'm a little. I, I'm a gonna little yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give myself a little uh, leeway for that. And I did see a comment on IMDb that that I looked for when I watched this. Yeah. That buoyancy was spelled wrong on the. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> it, it wasn't B O U B O U N C Y. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I caught okay. that. I was like, well, that's kind of. I mean, <laughs> didn't they have dictionaries in 1996? <laughs> no, no, they didn't. <laughs> So that's the really only problems I have with the set. Otherwise, it was a beautiful set, and I like your use of like old video equipment and stuff that you put on the, <laughs> the racks everywhere. and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, with yeah. all the buttons and everything. Well, you know, what, what surprised me is one thing is we did we we got together and we, and we got a piece of twenty. We took two pieces of plywood, and and put them. Um, Maybe about an inch apart. Cut cut them in a circle. I mean, a big circle. Like I think the circle was like uh, twelve feet around, and then clamped a uh, pipe, a one inch pipe, up against it, and just got back out here and just racked it around this circle, right, and brought it all the way back around. Tack welded it like that, and that was a huge part of the control room because if you notice that their arms were already always up here holding this yeah, yeah that that ring that we brought down yeah. that was an invention <laughs> that was so that so that it looked so that you had something that came in from above that was representing ceiling that was going to be right here all the way yeah and i thought it really turned out yeah i, I mean there was some things in there that looked just really <laughs> did pretty good i was like i was nobody was more surprised than i was <laughs> I was like, God damn, this looked and, and that and that stupid submarine set set down there and it sat in that stage uh for like four years. Oh wow. And people people made uh all kinds of different stuff out of it. You know, it was like a submarine a couple of times and it, it was a spaceship and it was an alien spaceship once. <laughs> You know, it's like alien space. I don't know. I kind of think that that was a stretch, but uh, they they dressed it different, and because um, the guy wanted to get back his money because the set cost so much. Oh, I mean, I think it cost. I think that the, all the production design on that show, instead of being the thirty thousand he wanted, it turned out being sixty thousand. Oh no! Yeah, it was a hard. That's a lot of PVC pipe. <laughs> oh, I got raked over the coals. You have no idea. But, but you know. Here's another thing that happened on that show is at the start of the show, the start of the show, uh, they had this director on that was a special effects guy. And he was starting, he was going to do the special, the, you know, uh, the optical effects. Okay. You know, yeah. the smoke tank effects. You know, that's, that's, that's what makes it look like a sub is going yeah, underwater. Yeah. Is they use a smoke tank mm -hmm. and slow, they, they use a motion capture. Yeah. to take pictures of it right so um anyway he up until the first day of filming you know and, and he was like 
that guy was crazy. I mean, he was absolutely like, yeah, so uh, the opening shot. So his opening shot was going to be coming down a conning tower that was 60 feet high. You know, and it was going to have scaffolding on it. And that that little part where the guy's over there and looking at the side of the that, that was going to be on our conning tower that we made. <laughs> you know, I was like, I was like, dude, we just, you know, we're not going to blow that much for that little shot. <laughs> right. <You> know, <laughs> that's ridiculous. And um, eventually we went out and just, you know, went to a, a small diesel sub that that, you know, uh, was down in Long Beach. Mm hmm. Uh, that people used to do tours through it. Oh, okay. Um, that's the sub that you were looking at. Yeah. But uh, man, yeah. he uh, he was terrible, and so he gets kicked off just as we start filming. Oh, great! And 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 the producer takes over and starts to direct. Oh, really? And he was an actor. Is that Andrew? Yeah, Andrew, Andrew Stevens. Andrew Stevens. Yeah, he he he's a he's actually you should take a look at uh, Andrew Stevens as an actor. Um, he. Um, so he takes over, and the thing is, is <laughs> there were times when I'm arguing with this guy uh, because it was initially set up by the by the director, you know, and <laughs> we were already building things for three weeks, um, and then Andrew takes over, and and neither, neither one of them, you know, they they were passing each other, right. so all of a sudden this guy picks up his set and, and everything else now it was a great set I, I have to say i mean for for what it was it was pretty yeah. good but we had arguments all the time the set actually made it easier to watch yeah, did <laughs> it? put it that way <laughs> yeah i thought yeah I, the I acting mean, was horrible yeah the acting was horrible was awful, writing but, was really bad yeah. but but the fight I, scene was good though yeah oh there you go yeah the, but but i thought the set was pretty good but but the thing is, is i remember that uh that I had uh, broken two ribs by falling off the set. Oh, you, you know when you're looking at it, and you remember the fall? Yeah, there's a the scene where that, somebody falls. Where, fall, fall, right there. Same spot? Same exact spot, <laughs> except for when I landed, I landed on um, a pile of tools right there. Oh. And and I landed like just like he did, flat on my back, right? Oh, and yeah. those tools, that's what took my ribs out. Oof. And it's so the thing is, is I just... I looked up, it, it, it knocked me out for a second, then uh, I, I look up, and I can see, uh, I, I had a bunch of guys, but I, but I had one guy that, that was black, right? And um, his name was William, he's a good friend of mine, and William's bending down, and he's looking, and I open my eyes, and I look at William, and William was as white as a sheet. Oh, man. And I was like, oh, man, this is not good, because I knew he was looking at me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so And so I immediately just stood up. You know, because if you can stand up, you're not dead, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I thought, well, that was it's like boxing. It was like <laughs> boxing. Yeah, stand up and you're not dead. And I thought, yeah, hey, this is great. And I just get up and I, I, uh, I walk into the door. I go, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go. Um, I'm just gonna go get a drink of water. You know, and I, <laughs> and I go through the door off of the stet, off of this stage into the next stage, and I just fell right flat on my face, just <laughs> out like a light. Ding. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> but through the rest of the show, I'm oh, you can't break two ribs, man. I I mean, it's just you're not comfortable. I just located the, a rib once. I oh, that's just, a I can't imagine breaking yeah, two there, ribs. There's just nowhere that you can go to be comfortable. You're just yeah. you know. Even the doctor said the doctor says, well, you fractured two ribs. You know, there is nothing that we can do. Here's some great painkillers. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, they were Percocets. Uh, and man, just... So the thing is, is within two days, I had to go back to work. I mean, they were just driving me crazy. And so I go back to work. Uh, and I remember I, I'm going down the road. Uh, <laughs> and I'm leaving Redondo Beach to go to uh, Jefferson, mm -hmm. which is... In the La Cienega, uh, it's kind of, uh, it's not very far away. Um, but I was going down the road, and I took a Percocet, and I just, oh, I got in my car, and I was just so uncomfortable, and I finally took a second one. And um, and I remember having this interior dialogue with my foot <laughs> <laughs> about stopping. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, it's like my foot wouldn't 
actually go over there and and stop so, <laughs> <It's> protesting. <laughs> well, it just it's like that natural thing of looking and seeing the light. You know that 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 thing where you, you, you totally you just do it right. That was gone. You know, <laughs> I would say, "Hey, there's a red light up there." <laughs> Hello, foot. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to head on. You're just gonna have to like. He's down there smoking. Shift on, <laughs> shift on over there. <laughs> He's in a smoke and, break. And get, yeah, and get on and get on that uh, that old pedal. Yeah, you're gonna have to slow the sucker down. And I was I literally that stone. And I go, go down and, and I get down to Jefferson. And I go down PCH. And then I get down to Jefferson and I and I see the sign that says crash dive this way. And it's oh well, isn't that nice? <laughs> so and so I turn towards the sign and then there's a sign that says crash dive, and they put. One sign said crash dive, and then I guess they ran out of space on that sign, so they put the arrow on the next sign, <laughs> right? So I thought I didn't see the arrow on the next sign, so I just saw a crash dive, and I parked underneath the sign, which was right on Jefferson, which is like a freeway, right? <laughs> and so I'm just I'm parked, basically, uh, essentially I'm parked on the freeway, right? Uh, I'm in the South Bay on the freeway, and we're, they're working in the tank. And so now I have to follow the signs on foot. I follow the signs into where we're filming. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I was really high. <laughs> so, so I get in there and 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 then the thing is, is you get this these waves of like like yeah. like all of a sudden I had concerns, right? right. Because of concerns, I was like, well, we just do this, this, and this, is, and I got everything working, right? And and they go, okay, great. Well, we got it all working. You know, why, why don't you go take a rest? You don't look all that good. <laughs> Yeah, well, I didn't feel all that good. So I go, and this is in the summer, and uh, we are we're we're down kind of towards the beach, and and you know where they 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 have tanks, and, and they they use these tanks for filming underwater stuff, right? So uh, now I'm I'm outside, and there's uh, like all the white trucks are out there, and I see a chair sitting in between two trucks i thought oh man that looks that for some reason that just looked like the most comfortable thing in the world so then i sit down and and i can't get my ribs comfortable until i put my elbow on my knee and, I, <laughs> and so then just to rest i put my face in, in my hands. elbow like, in, like <laughs> it, it, i put my hand over my face like that yeah and, and and sat there between those two pure white trucks in the sun for three hours. <laughs> oh my gosh! So you probably had a nice tan. Well, what I had was I had I had the pattern of my hand on my face, <laughs> just burned. I mean, just burned into my face. <laughs> and uh, and and I, like I'd have arguments with Andrew, which I, I had been having since the beginning. I'd been having like these hideous, horrible arguments with the man, right? Because. Uh, we weren't supposed to be working together, you know, yeah. as it was anyway. Right. And 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 I'm not kidding. They would be back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I was so high that I was just <laughs> this one day, really in particular, we're standing in, in, in the um, a control room, right? And I've got I'm I'm trying to lean up there and get my ribs to you know put my hand on that ring. And he's on the other side of the ring, right? Yeah. And I'm just, uh, uh, uh. And I'm like, uh, that's a great spot. And so he would yell at me, and then he would stop, and then I would yell at him, and then I'd stop, <laughs> and then he'd yell at me. And this is this is the way that it broke down in my head, right? And so <laughs> to pass the time while he was yelling at me, I started to just listen to tunes in my head <laughs> and then i would stop and then so so then i don't know you know after like two or three back and forths then i started to just hum the song yeah right yeah. so and all of a sudden he stops in the middle of yelling at me and he goes are you humming at me are you humming at me? <laughs> <laughs> i remember i go like and i remember i was really surprised i went oh yeah yeah i might be humming at you uh, it's, oh god and it just went that way every day all the way down the line it was 
it was such a horrible experience. Wow. But um, we had fun. I, I had, there was a couple of things that were well, fun. Well, he was an actor in Subliminal Seduction. Yeah, he was also in... A TV movie. <laughs> well, he was also in... Um, yeah, go, go, go up this way. Uh, f- uh, 80s. Oh, we did go down. Yeah, yeah. Go, go down. Go into the 80s. Fury, ah, he was one of the char- one of the main characters in the Fury. Wow, yeah, you know, a lot of TV stuff. Yep. Uh, boy, he huh. guy's really done a lot. If he's is he still alive? Uh, I think he was. The courtship of Eddie's father was what his first credit there. Really? Like, oh, there you go. Well, wait, we went too high. Let's see. Go, just go down to the credits. You'll be able to tell. Go down. Go down. Oh, okay. you mean here, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's still working. He's still working. Still working. Ah, there you go. Well, he doesn't so, have an end date here. Like so usually. this is his company. Is co- Royal Oaks is the company that, and Royal Oaks is <laughs> is kind of like a company like uh, like Corman's company. Yeah, you know they do a whole bunch of really cheap well, films. As soon as you see the credits, you know. It's yeah. Like, oh, okay. oh yeah. No budget. Ah, shit. Exactly. <laughs> so um, I got it. Uh, yeah, argument fall the water tank. I thought that. I thought. That it looked great, I, I I was quite surprised considering how much money we didn't have. Uh, that said, the 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 computer graphics for the time when when they were looking in <laughs> on the like the, the sub bubble and stuff like right. that, they were they were so terrible. Um, I like how everything was like really labeled, like heavily labeled. Yeah, like, it was heavily just, <laughs> heavily labeled. You like, can probably figure it out, like. Oh, we're looking at the tanks well, filling up. I, yeah, or, uh, there was a lot of that in it. Like, for instance... Um, depth meter. How about I the, mean. the description of the shortwave radio, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. Look, you hand a guy the radio and go, here's the radio, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and she, at some point, explains to him what kind of radio it is. <laughs> and then later on, you know, the guy goes, well, yeah, we got your, your short burst radio. <laughs> and you're like, wow, you know... I don't think any of that was necessary. I will yeah. say that I really like Catherine Bell in this movie. Oh yeah, Commander Lee. Yeah. yeah, she's very, very, very pretty. Uh, did did she go on to do anything else? Yeah, she's been on TV stuff uh, yeah, she, yeah, she recently. Has, I've seen her a lot. Isn't she kind of like the NCS kind of person? Yep, NCIS Los Angeles. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Army Wives. There you go. Yeah, that's the same companies. Jag, there you go. Jag, there. Oh yeah, exactly. She's one of the hot, hot women of Jag. Yeah, hot women of Jag. Yeah. So. So yeah, she's done. And Dream On. I see. That was one of the series I liked in the early nineties. Ah, there you go. Every, everybody used to talk about Dream On yeah. in town. Yeah, that was a. That was. I mentioned that to people, and they're like, well, "I don't know what that is." Like, <laughs> well, okay. Uh, try finding one called Hot L Baltimore sometime. <laughs> <laughs> It's talk talk about uh, films that went like for two episodes that that didn't even show up on the internet, you know. <laughs> I'm still trying to find Cop Rock. <laughs> yeah, Cop, Cop Rock you can find. Yeah, Cop Rock's course. everywhere. <laughs> That's so stupid. So yeah, I wrote down red arrows on PVC pipes. Really? <laughs> anyway, um. the miniatures, all the miniature work and, and optical work was terrible. Uh, I did like there was this fight scene in the inside. Right. Obviously inside. Right. <laughs> but I actually kind of like, I enjoyed watching the fight scene. It was it was choreographed well or whatever, but then when they threw him through the, the glass, that was right. a cool effect. But right. I'm like, why would there be plate glass inside a submarine? <laughs> Tempered plate <laughs> glass, Tempered, excuse right. me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have this friend, Larry Lamb, and uh, he's one of those, the thing is, is like, like, it always seemed like we were working on that thing uh, like at um, three and four in the morning, yeah. right? You know, and and he was one of those guys. I got to tell you that that uh, I I called him up and I mentioned that I was watching this film, and he goes, "Yeah, you remember that time I got you that uh, log." <laughs> <laughs> The log? Yeah, the log. And remember the plexiglass? And I go, oh, I remember the plexiglass. Because the original piece of plexiglass that we had in there. Right. Before it was replaced with the uh, tempered glass. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the plexiglass, uh, the tempered glass you use for the stunts. Right, right yeah. The, the plexiglass, all of a sudden, three or four in the morning, uh, we realized that we didn't have the plexiglass. And they were going to film, you know, seven o'clock in the morning. And... Uh, 
I don't know how he did it. He showed up. He 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 goes out for uh, forty five minutes and shows up with a piece of plexiglass unpeeled. <laughs> right? I was like, how do you do that? Three in the morning. Three right. in the morning. No twenty four hour stores back then. You know. I was like, I have huh. no idea where I came from. Wow. You know. And then he came over with a log at like two o'clock. It's in like the a morning. ninja. Yeah, <laughs> ninja acquirer. <laughs> that's where, like prop houses, maybe. Or? Well, I'm sure that somebody out there was missing something. That's what that's what I have to say. <laughs> Somebody, I can relate to that. So, I yeah? used to, I was uh, stealing uh, things on the set of engines from See? first unit. I was like, they don't need this corn. I'm I, taking this corn. Absolutely, I am. I am telling you, absolutely. Uh, uh, working on films will make you uh, will make you into a uh, thief. Um, uh, it will give you ninja skills. <laughs> like, it will, it will, it will make you break traffic laws. There's just no end of the bad things that can happen. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, uh, you take it like, well, if they need it, they'll come ask for it. Right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Mother, I don't know how it got here. Don't let your children <laughs> grow up to be PAs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I had much to say about this, really. Oh, the, there was a. I don't know what what made this. Ha- why this was a decision that was made. I would have just reshot the whole scene. There was a. So they were outside the house at the end. Yeah. And they're outside the house talking, and the the sound is so horrible. Because the, obviously the the microphone was inside the house. <laughs> so they walk oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. And then it comes crystal clear when they walk inside the and, house. And they walk into the mic. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that. But uh, I was yeah. like, why would you, why would you oh, even do that? Oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> this is in reference to another story that I, uh, you know, remember the story of the dog that, that was in the middle of the field and came uh, running? Yes, yes. It, it, and I jumped and it went yeah. underneath me. It, it in the field, that was the house. Oh, was it really? <laughs> <laughs> because you could see the field and the road. Yeah. Right, right out, right out in the front porch. The road that led up had the fence on both sides and, and the two big fields on either side. I was like, oh, that was the that was the field. And why would why was it creepy? Why would the girl be hanging out with the little boy? Yeah, the dad that one I didn't get. With putting her top on, looked like she was adjusting it. Like maybe they were in the back room doing something. But oh, maybe they were. Uh, there was a lot. Of, uh, and then his know. hair was. I have to say, the best actor in this movie was Michael Tudyhoff's hair. Yeah, because <laughs> it was like. It didn't move. It yeah, was amazing. Sep- separate agent. His 1986 see, hair was is, doing awesome with his 1996 movie. That is what you get. That's what you get when you get your uh, hair its own agent. His good hair agent. Yeah, yeah. yeah good hair. There's, there you go. So, um, what do you rate it? <laughs> <laughs> well, so I, I have to. Okay. See, I, I, I'm. If just, I take the set out of it, yeah, it's probably a one. Yeah. But with the set in. I'd give it at least a 2.2 or something. There you go. I yeah. I, I was going to give it a 2.5 um, primarily just because uh, I was only looking at the set anyway. I would give it a 2.5 <laughs> if it wasn't for the PVC pipes. Uh, screw you. Uh, <laughs> I'll dead drive a little arrow through I your heart. I mean, that's heart. just lazy. You could have painted it and made it look like, you know. Because you know I've seen those. those uh, wait, wait, wait. I've seen wait. those let submarines. Me tell you, let I've, me tell, I've been inside let, one of those let, things. Let I know me, it has that rough texture. Hey, hey. Hey, <laughs> let me tell you what the hours were like on this. We had an assistant art director, right? And um, the, the guy just absolutely busted his ass on this film. That's good. I, he never slept, right? So for four Obviously weeks... Obviously, the pre- art department did a lot of work on this, and the <laughs> so, actors didn't do anything. <laughs> so he didn't sleep for four weeks, oh my right? God. And two days before we started before we started filming we're walking across the stage with him and all of a sudden he just literally crumples oh man. Cr- crumples and just falls down and it falls asleep and falls asleep <laughs> right on the stage right oh, and in the th- thing that i don't think so, i've ever been that tired see okay. we were <laughs> we were so tired we, we just left him i yeah. mean we literally didn't even nobody even got him a blanket we just kept on walking <laughs> and when we walked back onto the same stage that he that he had been he wasn't there we never saw him again oh my god he just took off he was just uh, like, oh, that was like, enough. This, I'm so, and that was like, that was like the second show he'd ever been on. Wow. So he was, <laughs> so I never. He probably doesn't regret walking off. 
After if he's, I'm sure. I he's, I gotta tell you the truth. He probably, probably doesn't it. even know he walked off. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know he worked on he it. He doesn't even know he worked on it. Yeah, he does. He, he get a he'll 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 see that these days and look at that. Like, I can't believe it. I got a credit on that. Right. <laughs> look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, he, he would be getting checks probably. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Well, <laughs> it, it, you know, uh, Larry didn't see it either. And yeah. so I'm I'm gonna send him uh, that copy of it uh, in the mail tomorrow, and and he can. That's know, awesome. And we'll see we'll we'll see what he thinks of it. <laughs> I'd like to hear what he thinks actually. Well, you know I could arrange that, and I'm sure he has stories too. I'm sure that he does. Because <laughs> this is like one of those movies where you'd have a lot of stories. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh man. They they just go on and on and on and on. Well, the only one I remember I remember you told that one about you falling off, which is amazing. And then when I saw that movie and when I saw it happen in the movie, I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> interesting. Like, oh, I swear, when he fell, my side hurt for for probably about oh. ten minutes. I was like, oh, oh, that hurts. <laughs> But yeah, and the gunfight. Oh, one thing I did wonder, like, if but you but you know what? In my defense, it killed him. <laughs> right. I lived. That's true. <laughs> but if you have a gunfight inside a, a nuclear submarine, Whew. you're probably going to shoot yourself yeah. by accident. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ricochets. I mean, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Plus the sound. Yeah. Now, no, nobody ever, nobody ever reacts to things the way the sound would. Yeah. I mean, because I can tell you something. If you're firing a gun inside of a steel cylinder man that's gonna be really loud yeah it is yeah so. and then the, there was a guy got shot in the back and he was wearing a loose shirt <laughs> yeah and you can see all the oh yeah the you can see all the squid- i saw that I, yeah, it's like, I saw yeah. uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> You see the guy that got shot in the head, and the way that they yes, did it, yeah. the way that they did it is they they did the the little string on the patch, yeah, yeah, right? You know, yep. so so they just pulled the patch oh, the, off. I, I noticed it's like that. You can see the string. It's <laughs> pretty lucky. <laughs> it's kind of slapstick. Really. Yeah, that was, uh, that but was anyway. something. Yeah, anyway. So if you're really bored, and I mean, I found it on later on yeah. after we watched it. I, I did find it on YouTube, but I was like, yeah, oh, there you go. That's crazy. Crash dive, people. Why are people uploading stuff to YouTube? I have no idea. Some of the stuff that people upload, I'm like, why? Why even bother? Well, well, wait. You know, I mean, why bother? The very first time that I ever got on IMDb, and I put my name in. Oh, yeah. And I was like, who did this? It was people like why me. Do, why does anybody do this? I used to keep track of people, understand. like movies and stuff. Like, I had a, you know, I didn't. You know, it, it's funny that I went all the way from why would they do this to, well, I, you know, they only got about a quarter of them right. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> why do I do that? We well, can correct it uh, if you really care. You know, I tried. I actually tried a couple of times and I'm like, well, who are you? Well, I'm the guy. In, uh, it's my film or. Yeah. I, I didn't know how to prove it and, and, and I gotta tell you by the time it came up again I was way beyond caring <laughs> yeah well I guess at a certain point it doesn't matter yeah. anymore really doesn't matter you know? no. yeah yeah I like the uncredited. I like seeing uncredited stuff. Though. Like uh, when you look up people's profiles and it says uncredited. Uncredited. That's <laughs> right, like, right, right, right. That's I, kind of interesting to know, see I, that. The, the, the funny thing is, I did so many things that were uncredited in so many films. I I, I would have to think to myself, I couldn't remember. It was like me. I was trying to think of what I've been to a lot of concerts until mm-hmm. I moved to this godforsaken place. Yes. But I I used to go to concerts like constantly, like once a month maybe. Right. Even more than that sometimes in the summer. So I was trying to think of like if I ever I tried to make a list and I was like how many concerts have I been to because I've been going to since I was like four or five I've been going to concerts and I couldn't remember like half of them I didn't, I know there's a, a ton of them that I I can't remember. Oh, well, there you go. It's one of those things. It's gonna be a lifetime project. Yeah. Get on it. I'll say, oh yeah, I did see Sting in nineteen ninety. That's the way I talk. <laughs> 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 Which it, it part three? Yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. That's how they're gonna talk. Yeah, exactly. Okay, man. Yep. I'm done. I'm done too. Bye. Woo-hoo. Thanks for joining us on the Dream Warrior Review Podcast. Don't forget to tell your friends about us, follow us, and, of course, like us. We can be found on Podbean, which is an amazing app, YouTube, Stitcher, Alexa, on any pod, iTunes, Google Play, we're on Twitter as well, at DW Review, and, of course, Facebook. You can find us there. You can also email us at dreamwarriorreview at gmail.com. 